For all your TCG needs, make sure to check out SabaTCG.com. Yo, what's good everybody? This is Saber Finding 4 on the WhimsyG Players channel. We're using Firefist Ace for some hopeful ass kickings. Um, I suppose this is the first match where I can acknowledge my website once again on this channel. I've already talked about it on my main channel, the Pokemon One. But uh, yeah, even though you see a Pokemon ad in a way, Saber TCG is going to have a lot of uh, One Piece content too. I got, well at least not in terms of articles, but when it comes to card galleries, like every One Piece set, starter deck, all the card scans, I'm going to have that around. Maybe I'll write some One Piece articles too. But I'm more comfortable writing for something like, um, you know, old school Pokemon. Just more familiar with, more adept at. I don't, don't want to be writing about stuff for One Piece and then I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but anyway, playing against Uda, let's see how this goes. And uh, blocks my attack. Gonna get the search with the Izo here. So we're doing okay so far. I got some board presence and we got a, a similar amount of cards in hand, you could say. Drops the Nami, definitely the strongest card in this damn set, in this damn deck. Attacks for six. Perfect opportunity to discard a 2k counter. And that's gonna do it for his turn. So I don't quite have enough Dawns to pop the bitch. I would've, to be honest, even though she's not that strong for Flame Ember to waste maybe, but just to get rid of her so that she can't search. You get a lot of search with that bitch, man. You get a search on Summon, and then every time she attacks, she searches. So the way my Dawns were, the best thing I could have done was just summon a bunch of these blocker dudes. If they pop them, then your leader gets boosted, so it's cool. And then if this attack is normal, I can use them to block. So save the Zoro once again. Going with Uda, again, I'm going to discard a 2k counter, save my guy. And he goes for one of those Uda exclusive events, pops the Zoro anyway, and summons the blocker Uda. Okay, fine. So what are we doing now? I can summon the Whitebeard, which I will. Get my free dawn, and then I'll destroy the bitch so that she doesn't search anymore. He got enough searching. I'm only going to get one attack here with Ace, but it's fine. we are set up our board for next turn with Whitebeard, and then I can use Flame Emperor. Since he's still got enough life to get the max value out of that card. Okay. And you should have blocked with Iuda. I think you're going to regret it. So 7k, I mean, I can do like a double of the dude or just use one of my blockers. So I will, I'll actually just let it, let it happen. And I get the nice trigger here. I'll pop in the Uda. Beautiful. And then he summons the big Luffy. Gets the double summon with the Brook. And all of a sudden he's got bored. I'm going to kill the Nami. I'm also going to kill the Luffy there. And I pretty much got all the answers right. So I'm going to go... For eight. I guess I could have put the dance. Probably should have, but I mean he let it happen anyway. And then I guess I'll put the rest on Izo. This way I get one more attack. He blocks that. But it worked out. The important part is he didn't block the double attack of Ace. So Shanks comes down and kills the white beard. That's fair enough. And Izo dies as well. But I mean he's almost uh, he's almost dead. I'm gonna discard my counter there and I got the blockers for shanks that's gonna be pretty great since they still live all right then and uh, now what am I gonna do I mean I can attempt to go for game where I can just kill the brook maybe so I'm gonna go with four nine are you gonna let it happen I think he's gonna have to discard stuff at this point because it's too dangerous he did let it happen but now Zoro, I mean, he's gonna be 8k. Well, now you gotta you gotta dump stuff. Otherwise, you're gonna lose. So I decided to kill the dude since 
I mean, I don't have game quite yet. Gonna get the Flame Emperor. And that's it. Got a lot of board presence here. You know, Buggy can put in some offense now. So Uta, I will save my guy with Jozu. Uh, do I save him with the event? No, I can't. I could, but... Oh, no, I, I can't actually. What am I saying? All right. Successfully blocked the shit. He's going to be dropping blockers now to save himself. That's annoying. I can get rid of one with the Flame Emperor, but... You know, that's about it. We are going to attempt to go for game here. So... Eight. I'm going to go for it. What you going to do? Got to be dropping stuff to live. He does have a big hand, but he will eventually run out. Okay, the double. Now I'm going to put the rest of them on buggy. Does block. Okay, drop one. But now you got three cards left. And I still will be able to survive. I mean, okay, he tapped the blocker, but... Okay, good on you. I still don't think he can go for game, though. Um, Brooke gets an attack off. I don't really got much defense. Uh, he could, like... I mean... He's got three attacks if he decides to attack with the blocker Uda. He's gonna go for it. Gotta let this happen. I think it's the correct thing to do, but thanks to a trigger here, I'm pretty much gonna give Shanks minus 10k, and that pretty much, it's a victory for me. Yeah, pretty clutch, but I mean, he did the right thing. If he didn't go for game this turn, I would have definitely won next turn. So summons another blocker at this point, and he's just gonna try and thin the threats with uh, Uda. Uh, I'll let you have it, I guess, it doesn't matter. With the guys that I got, I can still go for game, I'm pretty sure. And I can actually even use Fire Fist. Actually, no, what am I saying? Can't do that. Okay, so Buggy. It's six. What are you doing? Drops the Luffy. And now... Hmm... It's only one card in your hand, so I think if I make the E zone five, you gotta block with the bitch. You just he's just gonna run out of defense, so here goes. 5k or six, I guess. What you doing? Gotta use the Uta. And she died. So now Ace gonna finish the job. Got an event in hand too. You can't defend yourself with this. So, it's a GG. So, very good. Perfect. So, this is actually game one. After I won, he requested a rematch. So, I decided, okay, fair enough. So, I'll give you another match. See if I can pull a victory again. Um, goes GG. Taking some time to set up. I don't know if it's uh, the system sort of glitching up the game. I, I typed GG, but... Not showing up. What the hell? Uh, but I'm, wait I'm waiting on him to load his shit. So I don't know what, what's going on. Okay, now the double text comes in. Alright, game on. Finally loaded. Uh, I don't have as great of a start as before. I didn't open up with any of my searchers. Eight searchers. Um... So I guess we won't be able to do much. Sort of gotta pass the turn here. Damn it. Attacks of five. I suppose I can discard an event to protect myself. Gonna do... Gonna do Jozu actually. Keep the events. Was that dumb? Who knows. And he drops the... Karakuri. This is from the Green Uta starter deck. Uh, the new one, of course. If you got a bunch of Dawns rested, he becomes like a 6k for 3. That's about it. Not bad, but I mean, not super mega great. 
I can see why they would run in though. Good little beater, cheaper. Alright, Zoro putting in some work, blocked. Gonna try and kill my dude and yeah, now I sort of uh, wish I didn't use the Jozu. Uh, and this time he, he's got a pretty big advantage. Now I can... Well... I can't really... I can summon Ace, but... That's interesting. I can do... What can I do? Do some crossfire combo with Marco, but I don't got quite the dons. I need seven. Kind of have to do Zoro because he's useless in hand. So I'll do seven. What you gonna do? Defend yourself. Let it happen. He does. Kind of wish he didn't do that, but it makes sense. 6k Zoro, he is gonna block this time and drop only one counter. That's the correct play to make. So that's that's pass. It's his turn now. We're not doing as good as before, but I mean I didn't open up with my searchers and I didn't like I made sort of a misplay uh, using the Jozo to block his first attack. I could have saved the Zoro that one turn, otherwise. 6k damn I gotta let these go through now we see the E zone it's not really gonna work out is it I get the counter though flame emperor so we're gonna uh, destroy the bitch I guess the best thing to pop and now mm, what am I gonna do next I guess I can use the Marco to kill the blocker since he bothered to summon him. And I can do Fiery Doll too. It's going to be an easier way to kill one of his dudes. So 4, 4k. You're going to block a what? I don't think it makes sense to do that, but... What you doing? He does... I mean, when I said block, I mean with, I meant with Luffy. I mean, if you got counters, then yeah, maybe it makes sense because he's close to killing me at this point. I can't deal with his board presence because we had a slower start. He basically has got the advantage here, I want to say. He's just ahead of me. Okay, 7k. Get a nice trigger again, kill something with five, and because he attacked before he suspended Dawns, I can actually kill the Katakuri that way. So getting some nice luck here, much needed. 9k, um, I get another, well, unfortunately I can't because there's a Dawn on the brook. He can't die now. Too bad. This would have been a nice trigger to a Flame Emperor. Bunch of Dawns on even the Luffy. Yeah, he's just going all out because he knows that I'm really behind. So I gotta let this happen again. I got a bunch of like offensive choices in hand that I can't really use at once, obviously. So I'm really thinking what the correct play here is. Uh, I guess Whitebeard, I kill the Brook and... I suppose I can use Crossfire to weaken the Luffy. I can kill him like that. So, five for three. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna save him? I mean, I think no matter what I do, because I, I don't have blockers, like, he can just put all the dons on Yuda and finish me off next turn anyway. Uh, we're going to try to bluff, but it's not really going to matter. Uh, 7k, this is more than overkill. And then I grab another 2k with Izo, but I still, I'm not going to have enough defense if he puts all the dons on the bitch. It's too bad. We regained a little bit of control, but it's too late. I just got no life to defend myself. So 15k, I'm going to dump everything, but I know it's not going to be enough. 
So yeah, discard the two events, two 2k counters and then two 1k counters, it's not enough. So GG to the guy, did a 1-1, uh, goes GG, he requests another rematch, but no, I'm not gonna do another one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, share the video with your friends, and I'll see you guys next time. What a